Remember this video? Mia Ponsetto approached 14-year-old Keon Harold Jr. at a New York City hotel last month, accusing him of stealing her phone. His father, jazz musician Keon Harold, recorded the encounter and accused Ponsetto of racial profiling. We have your, what you, you, see, you see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Now, the video shows Ponsetto trying to stop the teenager from leaving the hotel lobby and then rushing toward them. Hotel surveillance video shows the 22-year-old woman tackling Keon Jr. Now, he never had the phone. It turned up several minutes later at the hotel. New York City detectives went to California yesterday to coordinate Ponsetto's arrest in connection with the confrontation. She was contacted at a traffic stop in Ventura County near Los Angeles. Officials say that police had to pull her out of the car when she refused to get out. Now, in an exclusive interview, we had just done that interview yesterday afternoon. Her lawyer spoke with us before she was arrested. They told us that NYPD had not yet contacted them. Mia, help me understand, what made you think that Keon had your phone? That's why I'm confused. Why did you think he had it? I was approaching the, the people that had been exiting the hotel because in my mind, anybody exiting is probably the one that uh, might be the one that is trying to steal my phone. I admit, yes, I could have approached the situation differently or maybe not yelled at him like that and made him feel, you know, maybe some sort of uh, inferior way, making him feel as if I was like hurting his feelings because that's not my intention. I, I consider myself to be super sweet. I really never ever meant for it to like hurt him or his father either. Are you saying that you were stopping everybody in the lobby asking them about your phone? Is that what you're saying? Um, not everyone. Just the just the people that in the meantime, while, while the hotel manager was checking the, the footage, I just wanted to do my part as best as I could. You just described yourself as super sweet. I know you've seen the video. When you look at the video, the reaction seems very extreme. It doesn't seem like it's someone who's super sweet. How would you feel if you were alone in New York and you know, you're going to spend time with your family during the holidays and you lose the one thing that gets stolen from you that has all of the access to the only way that you're able to get back home. I just don't think I would randomly attack people is, is, is what I'm saying to you. I know you said you could have handled it better, but I just don't think I would randomly attack people in the manner in which you did. What do you think when you look at that video? You're standing there in your leggings and your flip-flops, and it looks like you're just going nuts, for lack of a better word. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone! But I don't feel that that is who I am as a person. I don't feel like this one mistake does define me, but I do sincerely from the bottom of my heart apologize that if I made the son feel as if I assaulted him or if I hurt his feelings or the father's feelings. I don't believe one mistake defines anybody, but I, I think when I look at that particular video, you're, you did more than just accuse him. The video seems to show that you physically attacked this young boy. You do see that too, right? By the end of the day, the dad did end up uh, like slamming me to the ground and uh, pulling my hair and th throwing me and dragging me across the ground. So I, I will say that. Yeah, but, but I think, you know, the video we saw, it looked like you had just attacked his son. Yeah, the footage shows me attacking his son, of attacking him how? Yelling at him? Yes. Okay, I apologize. Can we move on? I know you're saying, I don't need to, I just want to apologize. But I do think that there should be some context to your actions that day. Okay, so basically, I'm... I'm a 22-year-old girl. I am... I, I don't... I Racism uh, is... I said, I, how is one girl accusing a guy about a phone, a crime. Where is the context in that? <laughs> Mia, what is the Mia, deeper, what is the deeper, Mia, what is the deeper Mia, story it's here? Not, it's, it, that's not the problem. You have to at least understand your actions that day. You seem to have attacked this little boy, this young boy, this, this teenager. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone. And then it turned out he didn't even have your phone. That's the thing. I mean, you're, you're, you're saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. So I will say you're 22. Oh, I, I get, get it. Enough. The hotel enough did have my stuff. phone. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me. All right. Oh, wow. All right, Gail. Enough. 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 That was my favorite part. Enough. Now, the Harold family's lawyer released a statement last night. They said this is not about an apology from someone who until a few days ago was claiming she did nothing wrong. And in fact, 
alleged that Keon Harrell Sr. had assaulted her, someone who targeted a 14-year-old black teenager because of the color of his skin. We'll have more of our interview with Miss with, with, with Miss Mia Ponsetto on Monday. You know, I actually felt for the attorney there who was really trying to help her. And then, yeah. you know, when she interjected, uh, Mia would get upset about that. She insisted that she's not racial profiling. She has an explanation about that. Yeah. And, you know, it was reported that an Uber driver returned the phone. She says that's not true. So right. she's <coughs> but, 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 she never, wanted to make an apology. But I, as I said to her in the interview, I'm not sure you're helping yourself here. Well, yeah. the point is he didn't have her phone. No, he did not. And he did not. <laughs> Interesting choice of hat, by the yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> also, the point is the, the video footage is pretty clear and she yeah. doesn't seem quite ready to acknowledge what it shows. You know, her lawyer, Sharon, sitting by her, her side, tried to help her. It's interesting you would point out the hat because Sharon said, you, you know, you might want to remove that hat. Yeah. And she refused to do that, too. So it, was, it was an interesting afternoon. And at the time, you know, I said, have NYPD been in touch with you? They had not. So it was yeah. interesting that right after that, after that interview, that she was stopped and then arrested. Well, she said she didn't understand why it's a crime. Well, she might she might learn now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a very sad story, yeah. though. Really, it is a very sad story. I think something sad about her we, and the fact that the trauma that she put 14, this 14-year-old 14 14 teenager yeah. through. Yeah. That's not okay.